You're now listening to Bookly Journal, the world's number one book review show, a podcast by Carl McCrown. Please don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Hello, y'all, ladies and gentlemen, and my fellow book enthusiasts. My name is Carl McCrown, and you're tuning into the Weekly Journal. It's going to be an amazing journey here, exploring books, any kind of book. any kind of written later all because it's the wall it's a space that we are looking forward to create together with you i am so uh, happy i said bright and alive behind this mic today with great excitement and enthusiasm to introduce a podcast that i believe will revolutionize the way uh, we engage with literature welcome to the weekly journal where we're going to embark on uh, thrilling literary journeys and explore captivating narratives and delve deep into the world of books it's all about books boy so i want to talk about my portion a little bit and how this podcast came about uh while i was a boy i used to love stories i used to love books and sometimes i would uh, i just rather isolate myself in some quiet place and give my mind, i mean give myself a piece of mind then after that i'll maybe grab some book or some stories and just immerse myself and then when somebody call me i really go raged and i'm like God, really I'm enjoying such a good story and there is an interruption that is something that I really really disliked way like then but today I think I'm a little bit different I have transformed I have grown and I am really mind up so the only thing here is that I loved reading ever since I was a kid and I wanted to like just love reading until I grow up because I had this mindset of growing up to become a student for life you know I I look at the the environment I look at everything around me and I'm like okay information and books and all that stuff that really give us so much power to just view the world and everything and even the perspectives that we hear are really dependent on how much we know I mean there's little doubt on that and if you want to challenge me come on dare dare me okay Again uh when I uh, got into high school I wasn't such a reader by the way I can't say that I used to read more often but it's only that occasionally any time I'll hold a book to read I could need anyone to like just bag me up just because of you know just because they want to steal my quiet time and that was my only way to connect you know to myself because I wasn't such a, a friendly person you know not friendly person but not I mean extroverted I was an introverted individual so I used to stay uh, alone and I think that was a bigger advantage to me I used to get a lot of time to just isolate myself and immerse myself in the books and then again I wanted to like build something real now I wanted to test the reality how does the reality taste and it's been years upon years i've been procrastinating and planning for this podcast and when should i launch it yeah and finally we are launching it we are launching the book review podcast the only international global wise book review podcast here because we're going to be covering a lot of books a lot of literal uh, books i mean anything that is called a book i don't give a damn about it however financial however self help oh my god it's going to be an amazing journey yes 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 here on the weekly journal that's how it's going to be and i have never imagined with that a popular saying by the way which depicts that a room empty of books is like a body without a soul take a minute and think about that can you imagine a room without a window how does it feel like you're suffocated you're in the dark you can see the sunlight and that blocks you from what's going on around the wall i mean there are so many great writers there are so many great uh, people at their authors and readers who actually communicate their uh, their mind their perspective that we should really 
go out there and try to find new friends, new war and new stuff like that in these books. And as long as I also love uh, listening to audiobooks and podcasts, I'm a real fan. I'm a big fan of podcasts and audiobooks because sometimes, I mean, honestly, you're reading or, I mean, maybe you're doing the chores, you're doing the dishes, and you're doing the stuff, you know, do all the stuff. And that you are not in a position to hold a book. You know, as long as that exists, as long as I am so obsessed with the idea books and podcasts, I still create time to sit down with the hat copy because the experience is quite different. I mean, listening and reading the actual book is something different. And maybe we might sometimes just create the, the segment about the differences and just trying to unravel what really is the difference between reading a hard copy and, you know, the digital reading. Because I think we should reserve where we've come from the tradition. The hard books, I love them. Just sitting before me or just looking around or just turning pages, that is something that I do really enjoy. And I don't know if you enjoy it as much as I do, but honestly, we shouldn't so much be dependent on the digital forms, okay? As long as it's variety and it's versatile and all that stuff, come on, man. We gotta go. We gotta still keep up to the old tradition. So just stuck your library right there, any book, and, and just sometimes if you really like feel you need to just uh, hold a, a book, yes, that's just take a couple steps from where you see it to... Um, where the library is and pick that book and start reading. Yes, yeah, start reading it. So, by the way, the saying that um, a room without a book is, is like a battery that is so... It's my favorite from this guy called... He's a Roman statesman, also a writer. Um, he's called Marcus Tullius Cesare. I like this guy a lot. That saying is normally keeping me going every single damn day of my life. Well, you may notice that in a world filled with noise and distractions, finding time to sit down with a good book can sometimes be tormenting. And as well, it can come as a luxury. I mean, that is... Honesty to real too, yeah. Yet, those of us who cherish the written word, we understand the man's value it brings to our lives and its power to transport us to distant lands, introduce us to unforgettable characters, and ignite our imaginations in ways nothing else can do. And if you of any an idea of anything that can beat this, then well, you must probably share that. I mean, me. If I start reading, I feel my blood who's in my body. I'm like, oh, that's so awesome. Because when I get to meet these people, when I meet, meet new characters and a new war, it's kind of like these books give me a little power or let me just say immense power to travel around the world and meet different people. As an introverted individual, I think that's a great advantage to me. So if I see it, and just read and just explore certain books. I meet different people. I meet different personality every day. And it also helped me to build a resilient personality and stuff like that. Of which I think is really keeping me on the growth curve. Something that I don't really want to pull behind or just done a blind eye on. So yes, the weekly journal here is more than just a podcast, by the way. It's literally sanctuary. A place where bibliophiles unite and try to celebrate the magic of storytelling. We are your companions on this voyage and your trusted craftsmanship into the realms of literature. Each episode of our podcast is an immense experience where we dissect and discuss uh, chapters of the books that have left an indelible mark on earth from classics that have withstood the test of time to contemporary gems that challenge our perspectives we leave no stone unturned in our kiss to uncover the heart and soul of this little treasures both luckily and wild wide and by the way i noticed that here in kenya people have books we love reading and if you take a keen survey, you will notice that here we are still growing at a greater speed. And trust 
you me very soon we are gonna step into the first world class and just look around i mean to be honest the immense technology and all that stuff the infrastructure we coming up so far as the greater speed of light and all this can't happen without exploring the bigs it can't happen without keeping a growth mindset without thinking outside the box and all this the books help us to push us through our i mean from our comfort zone to you know the real way and that's what I think we're developing and we uh, we love we love information so i love you kenyans i love you book readers and that is why i formed this beautiful podcast so that we can have a united community of book lovers because i think we need to really build a stronghold the wild world that represent the whole world here in kenya we just discuss books okay every week we bring that book and open and turn the pages those beautiful pages and try to like resonate and you know discuss and review what is inside those books well this guy goes the setting when was the book published and all that stuff we want to know all those stuff not in a nutshell but we shall also take some times just to go through all this stuff and i love the journey also hope that we you gonna enjoy the journey with me too but we're not just here to share our thoughts and insight about this big so we also invite you listeners uh to be part of the conversation we value uh, your opinions and your questions and and your book recommendations sometimes you might have a good book that you think might change um people or somebody and yes we'll feature that book in our episode so we get to also you know because you as a listener you might get a variety of perspective than i am here as your host so yes that is another journey another beautiful journey that i hope we take together and again and again here on the weekly journal is a community we are a community and a gathering of minds brought together by our shared love for literature our mission is one big mission and it's very simple to ignite your passion for reading to the dct books you might have never picked up and to spark discussion that linger long after each episode <laughs> we are the bridge between readers and the literal world and we take that responsibility very seriously in the coming episodes you can look forward to a diverse range of genres through uh, thought provoking authors interviews and in that exploration of the themes uh, that resonate with readers of all backgrounds it doesn't matter whether you are a seasoned bookworm or just embarking on your literary journey there's never a wrong time to take a shift in the literal world and here it's a whole lot of exciting stuff in the literal world and each week at 5 30 on tuesday our brand new episode will be dropping hard on major streaming platforms and podcast players and if you are that only bad who catches the worm then i got your back i mean just be ready you are in for a real big trade and now without further ado let me just give you a sneak peek of the next pick of our discussion i love a book by james claire oh boy atomic herbit it transformed my daily routines and if you must know about it james claire is um a great phenomenal guy who's so brilliant uh scientist he's this guy who's who gives you a clear insight on how to go about building longer and sustainable positive habits. And in his book, he also gives you or provides you with simple actionable steps to break the bottle ones along the way. I think that is one of my best self-help classic pick I have ever heard in uh, sometimes or in ages. And we shall also discuss uh, more than that in the coming week i don't want to spoil the book for those who haven't checked it out and if you haven't indeed then please find a copy grab a copy please you'll appreciate the book and the couple dollars you might expand along the way and if you have read it please let us know what you're thinking about it and how it helped you through the journey of your habit formation also tell us what book you'd lovers to face squarely the next time with kindle spirit so i invite you to subscribe engage and embark on this exciting journey and adventure with us in celebrating the power of words the joy of a reading and the transformative experience that books offer in our day day to day life welcome to the weekly journal once again the space where the pages come to life and stories never end thank you and let exploration begin. See you next week. 
Thank you for listening to Dr. Tony from anywhere you're getting your podcast. Please tell friends and family about us.